Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Yeah! I don't know what you want me to say about this one. It's Ice Barrier. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Ice Barrier, Ice Barrier is one of those archetypes, regarded by the player base as one of the worst archetypes ever. We've gone from playing a deck that was probably fine to one that is likely unplayable in every capacity. The Ice Barrier cards are weird. They are high-statted, high-sacrifice monsters that all have a little floodgate on them. The idea is, as you stack up individual floodgates, potentially your opponent will be prevented from doing something that they wanted to, and maybe you'll be able to leverage that into a win. It's a pretty tough sell when the only four-star monster you're playing from the archetype discards other ice barriers in order to get better cards from your deck. We're playing one medium, a card that can be summoned if you're way behind on field. You know, actually, this one doesn't sound too bad. Three General Raiho of the Ice Barrier, which makes your opponent discard a card while resolving the effect of a monster that activated on the field. And three General D Gontala, which can summon an ice barrier from your graveyard at the end of your turn. This one's really powerful, except it's seven stars. I have no idea how we're going to get this out. Imagine playing the frog engine, not to summon something like a light and darkness dragon, but to summon a 2700 attack vanilla. Outside of that, we are playing the light and darkness dragon. We've got a copy of Gore's the Emissary of Darkness, double Tragodia, triple battle fader, three swap frog, one dupe frog, one Ronin toad, and double treeborn, foolish burial, dark hole, reborn, heavy storm, moray of greed, two mystical space typhoon, triple medallion of the ice barrier. This is the only card that maybe makes the archetype playable, a non once per turn rota. Imagine how bad your archetype has to be to be playing a non-once-per-turn Rota, and it's sucking. Triple Soul Exchange and Triple Enemy Control. And on the side, we've got three Maxi, three Effect Veiler, two Vanities Fiend, triple Cyber Dragon, two Jinzo, and two DD Crow. And the extra, we've got literally nothing interesting whatsoever. So I'm hoping that we're able to make this work, but realistically, I think it's unlikely we see a General Gontala make its way to the field. I think more likely we're going to take a Swift O2. Behold, ladies and gentlemen, you thought you saw the end of Chaos Piper, but... That was only a prelude to what is to come today in History of Jank, because what if we tap into the power of the level one beast known as Moja, which then evolves into the King of Beasts? This deck is so bad. So imagine taking Chaos Piper, which is a deck that like arguably is like semi-competent and making it even worse by throwing in a bunch of beast type monsters just to support King of the Beast. This is got to be one of the worst decks I've ever seen in my life, but but it's possible. I guess there's a shot. It is history of jank after all. And you know, the jankier the deck we play, the higher the likelihood we actually have a shot at winning. So welcome to Beast Piper. I, I, I guess you can just call this Moja because that's like what this deck should be. So Moja, if you've never seen this card before, uh, congratulations, you're not the only one because I've never seen this card before. When it's destroyed and by battle and sent to the grave, you add a level four beast type monster from your graveyard to your hand. In all fairness, that effect isn't too bad, right? Like we're playing probably the best beasts in Yu-Gi-Oh in this deck, like Super Nimble Mega Hamster. We're playing Raiko, right? So we have some decent targets for this. So at the very least, I've seen worse cards than Moja. But then when you go to King of the Beast, this like takes it to a completely different level. So King of the Beast reads like a terrible green baboon defender of the forest. It reads tribute to face up Moja you control special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. There can only be one face up King of the Beast on the field. I guess it would have been too OP if you could have multiple of this out at once. So I don't exactly know like what you're trying to accomplish with this deck. You're basically playing Piper Chaos, but you swapped out some of the other Chaos stuff for like this nonsense. Just so you have like 
like a different deck, I guess, just to flex on your friends that you're playing fucking Moja King of the Beast beats me. There are some neat little things about this deck that I'm excited to discuss, so let's do the card by card. So, of course, we have BLS, we have Gores, we have Double Trag, we have Green Baboon, Defender of the Forest. Now, this card cannot activate in the damage step, but we are playing enough beasts that if they are killed, we can just bring this idiot out, and he's 2600. King of the Beast is like a worse version of this card, but Baboon was limited at this point, and for good reason, because that card is crazy, and so this is sort of like a terrible iteration because you have to specifically get rid of Moja, but there's a lot of ways to get rid of Moja because of the fact we're playing stuff like Kinkabio, which can resurrect the Moja, and then this can also be summoned from the graveyard, just like Green Baboon. It doesn't need to be in the hand. So we're playing three of this, I think it's terrible, but at the same time, it's also hilarious, and this is like the perfect jank deck. Uh, good old Ape Fighter is back from, uh, what is it, Battle Pack 1 of History of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a beast, it's 19, it's like not bad. Funny enough, it's a dark. If that comes up, I mean, hey, I'll take it. Like, these aren't even darks, these are Earth. So, at least this is like the one beast in the deck besides Raikou that is a, a chaos typing, at the very least. Then we have, I shit you not, two copies of Beast Striker. This card says, once per turn, discard a card, special summon Moja from your deck. So there isn't a shortage of ways to get to Moja. Beast Striker can summon it from deck. Kinkabio can summon it from grave. One for one can get it from deck. Reborn can get it from grave. Foolish can get it to the grave so we can get it back with any of our tools. So getting to Moja is not exactly the problem. It's more so like, what do you do after that, right? Uh, so Beast Striker, never seen this card before. I did not think this little guy would have so many synergistic cards, but he's 1850. He's kind of big. It synergizes with Baboon as well. So who knows? Uh, triple Super Nimble Mega Hamster, because we're playing a beast deck. Triple Kinkabio. Uh, it's funny because this is technically Piper Chaos, but like with a beast shell, and we're only playing one Piper. You only need one because once you get the one in Grave, you can just constantly bring it back, and uh, you're able to hit Moja off of it because it is level one. So that's quite funny. It synergizes that way as well. We got the two Moja, the two Raiko. We're playing one Key Mouse as well. This is a tuner randomly, which could come up, and also allows you to add a level three lower beast from your deck to your hand. So fun fact, it does search Moja. I guess Super Nimble Mega Hamster also searches Moja, so you have like 13 ways to actually access this card, funny enough. Uh, double Maxi, Double Veiler, a Card Trooper, a Piper, and a Glow Bulb. Then the spells, we have Reborn, Dark Hole, Heavy, One for One, Foolish, Double Creature Swap, same thing like with Piper Chaos, so we can just give Joseph small guys for his biggest, Double MST, and then Triple Horn of the Phantom Beast. I guess if there's a reason you want to play Beasts, this is one of them, because Horn of the Phantom Beast reads like one of the craziest cards ever. You give a Beast or Beast Warrior 800 attack, and you get to draw a card if it kills something by battle, such a big card, and uh, we are playing Majority Beast in this deck, so this could come up. The extra deck just has your traditional nonsense, right? You have Fortress Dragon for the Siders in the side, you have Utopia, you have Zen Maester, you have uh, Steel Swarm Roach, then you have Trish, you have Double Scrap, you have Colossal Fighter, Stardust, Black Rose, Brianak, Hyper Librarian, Naturia Beast, Ally Justice Catastrophe, and Formula Synchron. The side, we have the third Maxi, Double DD Crow, uh, we can hit this off of Piper, so it could be relevant. Triple Decree for the back row decks, we have Double Thunder King Ryo, Triple Sidra, Double Fairy Wind, and Double leeching the light. If we win this, this will be nothing short of a miracle, but I will say to you viewers, my main goal is to summon King of the Beasts at least once, and hopefully it is the card that will deliver Joseph the final winning blow. He will never live it down if this card is his demise. Holy fucking shit. And you guys in the comments will also make sure that that's the case. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Well, buddy, uh, I'm playing a Piper deck again, but I don't think you can really call this a Piper deck. That would be a traumatic stretch of the word Piper. You, on the other hand, you're playing a deck that was actually just released recently by like modern standards, right? That's they have true. their own structure deck. Yeah, very true. Um, Just like last time I played a water deck to, you know, moderate success. Uh, I'm playing a water deck again, and this one is well known among the player population, which can only be for one of two reasons. Yeah, and uh, you were just playing with some of these cards, I imagine, yeah. in uh, History of Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm Ooh. not sure if the uh, Battle Pack 2 video has gone live, but that in a format of all sealed cards, you know, some of your deck actually looks pretty good. Uh, mm. Four cards on the field, some at a 2200 dingus. That seems like a great card. You're doing a lot of work <laughs> to sell people on this dog shit deck. <laughs> in that case, let's see how dog shit it really is. Let's shout the patron, Taylor A. Bisher. Thank you for the support. Apologies if I butchered your name. Buddy, 
I, I did you wrong last time, and I automatically just rolled the die. I'm going to let you go first. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is such a mistake. I mean, have you seen the combos this deck is capable of producing? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm terrified, but I figured it's the only way to make up for what happened last episode, so I, I'm being a good friend and a good co-host. Right. So best of luck, buddy. I can't wait to get locked out of the game. Here we go. So I'm going to begin with Medallion of the Ice Barrier. Now, this is an actually good card. Uh, it allows <laughs> this is you the to only good card. <laughs> add an Ice Barrier uh, from your deck to your hand. Uh, yep. So I'm going to use it to grab Strategist of the Ice Barrier. Okay? Okay. All right. You know, next. Now, you know the archetype is good when it has a Rhoda that is at three and not a hard once per turn. So th this you're selling me already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next step is I'm going to press the End Turn button. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. I am not. This is a very good deck. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Uh, in that case, in my main one, my play will be uh, slightly more interesting. Yeah! I will just set one and pass. <laughs> All right. Stand by main. All right. So we're going to normal summon a Strategist of the Ice Barrier here. Okay. I'm going to activate the effect. I appreciate okay. that they included this in the deck, but I'm not going to summon the seven-star General Galanta. All right. <laughs> Why not, buddy? Oh, why not indeed? Uh, let's go ahead and draw a card. All right. And let's attack! It is the super nimble mega hamster. Take your 200, fool. Shit. And I get to get any level three or lower beast. There is a level three or lower beast I could grab for this exact instance. Uh, I don't know if it's the correct one to grab, however. I really just need to summon King of the Beasts, uh, but that would you know, require me to actually somehow find King of the Beasts. Instead, I am going to set Ryko and be very boring. Snore. We're gonna normal summon an all-star from, I believe it was battle pack one, Ape Fighter. <laughs> Damn, is that Ape Fighter? <laughs> We're gonna go to battle and hit over strategy. I'll take three here. Okay, and so Ape Fighter now becomes 2200. Whoa. At second main, I will set an additional card and I will throw it to you. Oh my God, you fucking idiot. You stupid, you moronic imbecile. <laughs> I don't even think it's right. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. I don't think it anything. is either. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to activate Dark Hole. Oh, all right, that's a lot better. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, we lose everything. All right, I'll just set one card. Back to you. I will do the same. Go ahead. I fucking love these decks. They're that's so a nice good. ice barrier card you've got there. Oh, God. Soul Exchange. Oh, shit. That's a real card. Yeah, you got Ryko. Fuck. <laughs> and you got the one, the only General <laughs> Ryho of the Ice Barrier. <laughs> Folks, we love to play cards that die to Cyber Dragon. Okay, back to you. Okay, so when your opponent's monster effect activated on the field resolves, mm -hmm. they must discard a card or the effect is negated. Their choice. This is the worst <laughs> fucking card I have ever read. Would you read believe me if life. I told you it's the best card in my hand? I, yes, actually, <laughs> I think I would. Uh, now, here's the best card in my hand. <laughs> Shut up! God! <laughs> Stop playing this card. I will go to battle. Uh, I will hit over General Raiho of the Ice Barrier for okay. nine, and I will hit over your other one while I'm at it. Excellent. That's perfectly fine. I literally have no other play. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Stand by. I'll get the guy back. Sure. Well, shit. What am I going to do here? Uh, I just love that Ape Fighter's a dark. Whoever did that, thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Draw. Uh, I could banish tree. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna banish Treeborn because I don't respect your deck. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah. Okay. And then I will hit for three K more. All right. Now this is. I mean, it's not an ice barrier, but I do have the most powerful alien card, Gorzi Emissary of Darkness. Fair. And it's three thousand attack, which is quite frightening. All right. Uh, sec. Second main, had a feeling there might be a Gores in my future. So what do you do now? Crash, seems pretty good for you. Uh, I haven't summoned or anything, so I'll just set one. I'll throw it to you. Grab this boy back. Oh my God. You stand no chance against my second general Raiho of the Ice <laughs> Yeah, You might be right. You might right. be right. Let's try this out. Crashing here, no responses. Oh, thank God. Uh, okay, let's go Gores in. So this is actually a bit awkward, but it is super nimble mega hamster, which is mandatory, which means I am going to have to discard a card for general Raiho. <laughs> or the effect is negated. Yeah, I think the effect is just negated. My yeah! right Yeah! <laughs> 
<laughs> General Raiho, congratulations. This is the first time you've been able to ever do something like this. All right, back to you. Um, I'm going to trag on the Raiho hit. Sure. And I have to uh, pitch a card, so I will uh, pitch the heavy you ready? storm. You don't have to. It wasn't activated on your field. Oh my god, this is the worst fucking so, card. So I just bad. said it's the worst he's card. So well, you got out of me that I have a uh, That's a cattle storm, play spell traps. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right, main one. So this is quite funny. I can use the effect of Trag pitching my gores to take your gores. No, don't do that! <laughs> Now, I did resolve an effect on field this time. Yeah! <laughs> so I will, in fact, be pitching We're this heavy there, storm. Folks. We are getting there. You're on 36. Yeah. Uh, is there any shot that I can kill you? Potentially. Uh, I am going to creature swap. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, you can have Raiho. Okay. Uh, so your trag is 24. I don't think I care too much about that. I will Piper. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yep. No! <laughs> I don't have the mojo! The best, that's the best draw in the deck, baby. That is the best one. All right, so we'll hit Trag. This is what, three? Three, and then 21. Wrong again, asshole! Prepare for my Trag! Oh, fuck. Wait, it's only 18. Okay. No, 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 He's no, only no, no, 18. No, no, no. Yeah, you sure about that? You sure? Uh, we're just gonna You don't go... want to fall to General Raiho of the Ice Spear? <laughs> we're just gonna take the 21, and then we'll Trag. Okay. Oh, that God. seems like the more logical play. That's fine. All right, go ahead. Oh, you... This fucking dingle dork. All right, uh, down comes Treeborn Frog. Okay. Uh, we're gonna econ take your oh god uh, gores. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, yeah, we have to take the gores here. Okay. Uh, we'll Treeborn Frog. Now check this shit out. Okay. <laughs> Drag. Pitch my Rhino. Third Rhino. <laughs> you fucking Ryo! asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but oh my god, wait, it doesn't, it doesn't. Wait, what the fuck do we do here? Do I discard for this? By the point of resolution, I own this card. I fucking hate this. I we imagine have to that I General Raiho Ice Barrier rulings. I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll discard. Okay, so there's the medium we knew you had. Fine. Okay. Uh, what's the last card set? It's nothing. Nothing at all. It could. It's. It could never be anything. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to activate Tragodia. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. I was about <laughs> so, to say, it doesn't matter. Just switch these fuckers to attack position. Oh, no, not him. Uh, combat. Uh, I like not him. Trag has 400 fucking attack. You're going to do that? Isn't that lethal? 24. No. 32. What? Since when? Oh, God, that's terrible news for me then. Uh, second main. <laughs> I'm going to normal battle fader. <laughs> We're gonna sink okay. these two off. Uh, we're gonna make. What do I know you Battle have? Battle Fader's not a tuner. What are you doing? What? Oh my god! <laughs> I have really bungled this one. <laughs> well, in that case, we're fucking dead. <laughs> There's nothing I you can do. You know the about best part? Doors. Yeah. <laughs> you know I have this. Oh. If I draw Moja, you literally lose the game. I mean, I think I lose uh, when you get your gores back, right? No, doesn't Trag keep it forever? Oh, oh, dude, Trag you didn't the gores. take the gores. I forgot. I forgot you did. Oh, <laughs> of course, we're not playing like sevens or anything. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll be a pal. You can put Trag back to defense, oh, and I thank will get you. 400 thank life you. back. I appreciate that. I think that I'm was, fucked I anyway. Think, I don't know how you thought you had lethal, but I will be nice and give you the benefit of the doubt. I was here. like, yeah, Trag is like a, a 10,000 attack point guy, right? It was actually 600, but I still wasn't, I wasn't dead anyway. I don't know why I thought it was four. Uh, this is this is just a bad day for all of us, isn't it's it? All right, I'll draw. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is in my hand. Take back your I, Moja. I, I did not draw Moja, or I would have windmill slammed that on the table as fast as I could. Yeah, I really don't think this matters, but whatever. I'll do it anyway. Uh, I'll run out Valor. Sure. I'm gonna go for Scrap. Oh, that's like actually good. Seven hundred over the right. Oh, so you don't have to discard. Yep. Very smart. Uh, so we don't have to discard. And then second main scrap effect. This MST has been literally doing nothing. I'll kill the trag. <laughs> what the fuck I'm going to do from here? And go ahead. Come on. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> that. <gasps> you idiot. You're so fucked. I just realized I activate one for one pitching the king of the beasts. No. Because it gets summoned from the graveyard. I will summon Moja. <laughs> no. And I will sacrifice Moja <laughs> to summon the King of the Beasts. Uh, there he is. He's the, he's the King of Beasts. 
<laughs> it's so bad. All right, attack. Yeah, you know. Attack. It is dupe frog. Fantastic. Guess I'll get swap frog. I don't fucking know what I'm doing with a swap frog, but that's a that's a problem for future Joseph. I will pass the turn. Stand by. We'll get treeborn. If I don't win this, I can at least say I am the only human alive who has successfully summoned the king of the beasts. That's literally the best draw in the deck. All right, econ. Oh, fuck me. I'm dead. I literally lose the game now. <laughs> that is the end of the game. <laughs> but I summoned the king of the beasts, ladies and gentlemen. So who's the real victor here? That was awful. That this was is going so well. This, this is going quite well. Uh, first in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, we have summoned the King of the Beasts, True. Uh, and it lost me the game. True. Uh, so I don't even know if there's anything I could have gotten that would have been better, in all honesty, but yeah, we'll see. I appreciate I, you uh, taking pity on me and allowing me to uh, take back 18 plays in a row. <laughs> oh, this hand is so good. We'll, uh, we'll see how much it matters. Uh, I will draw, I will set, and I will pass. Thrilling turn on my Come end. On, give me a fucking ice barrier. Oh my god. Go. Going well, I see. All right, main one. I will... Well, I'm not in much of a rush. I guess we can go with everyone's favorite uh, level one light monster, Mystic Piper. Uh-huh. See how good we are at the game. You're so what good. What can I say? So what good. can I say, buddy? Easy. I'll tell you this, Easy. that guy is to draw never being too. destroyed by battle. Never. That would require you to actually have things that can attack me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that was fun and all, but I don't think there's much else I can do. It's nice to get cards for a moment. Uh, I will set one and I will just throw it back. Sure. I'm going to MST the back row. It is a creature swap. I'm going to Solex your monster. No, my hamster! Lad. That's a problem. Go yep. ahead. Not even attacking. What are you well, about? I activated Soul Exchange. Oh, that's true. I'd I love to exchange. attack. <laughs> All right, made one. Yeah. This is going well. This is going well. Okay. How do we drain Lad of attack points? I will set one and I think think that's just all I'm going to do. Go ahead. Stand by me. Uh, I guess we'll start. I know you're the master of draining lads. All right. So it's Moja. So it will get negated. <laughs> all right. That's one. Uh, 16 here. 16's fine. Uh, back to you. Okay. I will draw. So you're on 23 now. Okay. You ready for the biggest brain play ever? Yeah. I'm going to set one. Yeah. I'm going to heavy. Yeah. <laughs> To get negated. Yep. <laughs> so lads at 18 now. Yep. Then I special Sidra. Mm. Uh sadly, I do not think I have any other real follow-up while lad is up. So I have to go battle to clear the lad. Alright, we'll blow up the board. I'll grab dupe. You also take 300. Yeah, yeah. All right, second main. I know how much you love when I do this. I will normal summon Kink of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see it, buddy. Activate. Yep. It was Maxi. You have dodged. Well, that's a pretty good. <laughs> it's all right. It's all I right. I feel like I dodged. Uh, it. I will go to end phase. I will return King Kabio to hand, and I'll just pass. Sure. Uh, stand by me. Uh, we're gonna send Treeborn Frog to grave for Swap Frog. It's fine. Swap effect. Dump Ronin. Yeah. Swap back to hand. Normal swap. Ooh, we could send another Treeborn. It's on two Treeborn. Make Gantetsu here. I think I'm just, it's 22. I'm just gonna pass turn. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. Uh, draw. All right. I'm gonna activate Foolish. I'm going to dump the card I've been waiting to see in this deck. Green Baboon Defender of the Forest. What the fuck? This guy's in there. They're all beasts, buddy. They are all beasts. Uh, then I don't really see any reason to shake the boat, so I'm just gonna do this again. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Clear Piper, Millet. Oh shit, it's that's, not a bad one. That's a pretty good one. Uh, so we'll go battle, uh, we'll kill this. Yeah, I'll search. We'll grab another swap frog. So now you have two swaps in hand, right? Yeah. Uh, and then 400 to the face. Sure. Uh, second main, I will set one. Uh, I will just go to end phase, we'll put King Capio back in hand. All right, uh, stand by, we'll get our boy. I will maxi. Sure. Uh, let's go main. <laughs> sure. Oh, buddy. This might be a big turn. This might be a big turn. We'll draw. 
Oh, excellent. Might even be a bigger turn now. I will activate one for one pitching glow up bulb. Okay. I will grab the strongest monster in dual monsters, Moja. <laughs> there, there it is, you know. And we will sack off the Moja for the king Jeez, of the Jesus, There it is. Uh, which is pretty good. I mean, it's something, right? It's not uh, the best. I still have not committed to my normal summon. So, oh my God, this is actually insane. I will normal kink up you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll resurrect Moja. <laughs> yeah. I will. Oh, fuck. This doesn't work. You can only have one of it. Shit. Never mind. Of course. Never mind. I mean, it would be way too yeah. good otherwise. It would be way too good if you could. Excuse me for thinking otherwise. <laughs> fuck. Whatever. We'll do the Piper shit. Sure. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's go next in that case. <laughs> Getting a little tired of losing a Mystic Piper revealing VLS. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I can't. Oh, this. I, I, you can't say I'm not playing Moja, buddy. I've summoned Moja it, and Moja the King has of the made Beast. an appearance every 100%, game. 100%. So yep. Every game. And I plan to keep it that way. Main one special uh, Sidra. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? All right. I will normal summon Ape Fighter. I'm just getting in. Yeah, sure. It's hit. It's Ronin Toten. 19. 19. Sure. Yeah. He doesn't get his attack boost because he has to kill a monster. I will just set one, throw it back. Stand by. Strategist. This seems like a good card. Yep. Activate the effect. That's fine. Wow. Oh, even better. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> It's going well for you, buddy. It's going well for you. Oh, you idiot. I normal summon Beast Striker. Uh, what the fuck? What the? F <laughs> this is the worst this card I've ever seen. This is the worst seen. card I've ever seen. I will discard Key Mouse yeah. to summon Moja yeah, why from not? the fuck deck. It. Yeah, bring out the, bring out the Moja. I do not have the King of oh, the Beast. Otherwise, I think you were literally dead if I did. I will send in Ape Fighter, and on attack deck, I will activate Horn of the Phantom Beast. Seeing 11 here. I get to draw a card, and Ape Fighter goes up to, uh, this is uh, 3,000 now. Incredible. I'm on a Trag here. Uh, oh, you have Trag? Okay. So Trag is 24? Yes. Okay. Uh, in that case, that's a problem. So instead, I'll just go to main two, and... <laughs> Guess what I drew off the fence? <laughs> gonna fucking attack you, dog. Oh my god. Stand by me. Yep. Why is it playing this card? Oh my god. This, I do not understand. Oh lord. How much attack does ape fucker have? He's at 3,000 oh, exactly. 3, which is exactly Trag's attack. <laughs> this is actually just the FTK because. I, I, if you kill the King of the Beasts, I can summon another Moja and just bring him back. <laughs> that is true. That is true. It's the world's <laughs> worst green baboon. Oh, my God. I also feel like for a card named King of the Beasts, they could have made it look a lot cooler. I'll go to combat go with you. Trag. I have to fucking kill the beast. <laughs> oh, he's actually complicating the board state. I can't believe it. <laughs> I have to kill the Beast Striker. I can't risk you getting another Moja. <laughs> A sentence you never thought you'd utter. Yeah. This is what, 1150? Yeah, yeah, he's down. It's fine. I'm going to econ, grabbing the ape fighter. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I'm going to go ape fighter into... Fucking Christ. Ape fighter into the king of beasts. Okay. Now, here's a question. No. How does this work with Horn of the Phantom Beast? So, uh, Horn of the Phantom Beast is still a card controlled by you. An opponent still modifies a monsters. An opponent's monsters not die. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You uh, but Ape Fighter, does Ape Fighter get the 300 attack? Yes, he does. Okay, cool. It doesn't cool, matter. Cool, cool. I'm sacking him off to Lame. set a card. Oh, my God. The Raiho Wall. <laughs> He's got 21, dog. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, hypothetically, what is the defense on General Raiho? Normal Moja. He's got 23. I'm not going to normal Moja, but I will normal summon the second beast strike. I swear to fucking God, dog. 
<laughs> May I activate oh, Beast yeah, Striker? Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I will pitch the Cyber Dragon in my hand. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. To get Mojo. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh, Bring man. him on out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's back. Yeah, yeah. 21, 1815. 21. Oh, I would kill for a Gorse. Go ahead. Are you going to lose to Moja Beatdown? <laughs> no, the fuck I am not. Dark hole. No, off the top. Fuck you. Okay, so here's the bad news. I got no monsters. <laughs> I know that you have a monster in hand, because otherwise you would have said it. But I, I just pray that it is like fucking Raiko. Lord, <laughs> Ryza, I don't ask you for much. If I can please have a Moja or a Beast Striker will to the top of my deck, I would very much appreciate it. Fuck. <laughs> That's not Mocha. Ah! Oh, you idiot. You fool. Oh. You will fall no, you to Mocha. <laughs> I will activate King Gabio. No. And I will sacrifice Mocha for the King of Beasts and end this duel. fucking <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> where where was the swap frog? Oh, it wasn't coming. It was not coming. Oh, there's Gorse. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was agony. <laughs> I had Maxi Trag. That's what sure, I was sitting on. Sure. Oh my so I had a monster, you were correct. It was just not a monster I was willing to summon, nor it was not was it one that could kill you immediately. Maxi was a three turn <laughs> clock. Oh my yeah. god. This, Sadly, this was, holy fuck. I cannot believe that Master of Beasts was the difference maker in that last one. <laughs> oh my god. You know, the world's worst green baboon is still a green baboon. <laughs> I guess. Let's uh, let's talk real quick about uh, Ice Barrier. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Fuck you for sending me this list. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh, you Ice Barrier. You said, oh, Joseph's got to play Ice Barrier, dog. I mean, there's just nothing you could do with this deck. You know, you saw Raiho. You saw, I mean, we pitched a uh, Gantala. Oh, man. We saw the second and third Raiho. Yeah, we did. We saw every Raiho in the fucking universe. Out of the board, I was on Vanity's Fiend. I should have just kept boarding. I had like 15 cards I could have taken out, taken all the ice barriers out. But game one, I said, no, no, no. This deck's fine. What's the problem? Oh, and, and then it lost to Ape Fighter, you know? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ape fighter coming back. All right. This, yeah, I think I said this when we were sideboarding off camera. I think collectively your deck strength would have increased if you sided out of every ice barrier card yes. in your deck. Um, I don't know what else is in the sideboard. I don't think it matters. I still think it gets better the less ice barrier cards you have. You look at some of the Ice Barrier cards, right? And you think, oh, they have an, an unlimited Rota. That's insane, right? And like, for what it's worth, like, Strategist isn't that bad. Like, his stats are pretty mediocre, but like, the effect is actually kind of cool, right? Yeah. I think any archetype would like to have, like, pitch one card out of your archetype and draw a card for, especially for how many, like, graveyard centric decks there are, like, in the game. Right. So I think, like, Strategist is, like, mid tier right mm. but that's not saying much because the rest of the ice barriers are just god awful oh yeah i just like do not understand like what they were thinking when they printed these cards initially like they're just so gimmicky and have the weirdest like sort of effect like it, it's just baffling to me and like even with the ice barrier structure deck and i imagine if history of jank ever gets to that point like we'll revisit it and it probably won't even help yeah. Right? Like the Ice Barrier new support that got printed literally read like custom cards and the deck is still bad. Like it would be good in this format, maybe. You know? Maybe. It could maybe yeah. go toe to toe with the King of Beasts, but uh, no, I do not think it would be uh, powerful in actual. I, will... I feel like they could have printed those cards during this time and like it would not have made a bearing on ice barriers playability at all we are kind of getting to a sort of weird deck building uh philosophy that existed at like the jank level obviously when you're playing good decks uh, you can just play the good cards in the good decks uh but if you're playing jank uh, because of how frequent uh the availability of back row removal was how much people were expecting, like, the bottomless lineup. Some of these jank decks are on Battle Fader, Trag, Gores. I think yep. both of ours are. Um, yep. Obviously, <clears throat> you've got some incidental synergy with Battle Fader, but 
uh, it, it kind of was the back row that didn't have to exist in the back row. Like yeah. a couple of trags, the limited yeah. doors, a couple of battle faders, and suddenly you don't have to worry about dying at any position in the game, and you get to play cool stuff like Treeborn Frog. Um, just a kind of weird deck building philosophy that really only existed at the jank level, so I'm happy we get to show it off here. It's fascinating, too, because a card like Lad as well, uh, like that's like where a card like that's pretty good, right? Where this is where we start seeing all these hand traps really pop up, and I think we saw that like more in last episode as well. You have a card that can negate effects almost anywhere. That really helps you like push through those types of boards, because at any moment you have to think, oh, am I going to lose the Battle Fader? Am I going to lose the Gores? Am I going to lose the Trag? And like when you had that Trag up, like it looked pretty good for you, and if we're playing like literally any deck besides Ice Barrier, I was probably fucked. Mm -hmm. uh, so thankfully you weren't. For, for what it's worth, I did not think like Moja had this much support. And also like Moja doesn't read like the worst card ever. It actually is like a plus, uh, not a plus one. It goes neutral on advantage because it gets you back any beast. Mm -hmm. uh, and the beast pool is actually kind of good because yep. there's super nimble mega hamster. There's Raiko, uh, beast striker, we saw multiple times, which I, I cannot believe I've never seen this card in my life, get you to the Moja, right? And then Green Baboon, which it is like after when Green Baboon was like ridiculous and could trigger at any point. But still, even if you were to like clear something, like with uh, when you dark hold me, for instance, right? If I had Baboon and Grave, I'd just bring that fucker right back because I lost a beast, you know? It's neat seeing like this weird half, it's like beast chaos, mm -hmm. right? Uh, with like Kinka Bio also filling that role as well. And there's just a ton of level one synergy there too. Uh, this deck's only on the one Piper, which I find hilarious, but like you can still technically, like if you're playing Kinka Bio, you might as well play Piper while you're at it too. You can dump it with Foolish. You can fetch it with one for one. You don't need more copies because this deck already has like its own game plan anyway. I, I gave this deck a lot of shit in my profile and like even before considering playing it. By jank standards, I actually think this looked relatively competent, but maybe that's because it's playing like half cards that like should be banned during this time i'll be honest with you this deck fucks we don't say it often <laughs> here on on jank this we deck is kind of sick uh, ice barrier can go jump off a cliff for all i care but this yep. moja deck is it's a little interesting so guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Moto, Tim 0 x 3 Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball Par 2, Pony Stark, Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rock Slide, Phoenix the Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Hornet TC Gaming, Valen Jack. And thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Orange, you glad I didn't say Alpha Tribute Ben 10. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Lou Bon, Yoda Bon, Helios 515, the anti big brain Ben K OTK play, MBT funding the Irish with his Rothschild wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM BTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Stella and Zoe Vermilion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen. Skull Servant and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT cancel by all community soon. Cancel by all community soon. Cancel by all players soon. Dalton not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Cayman CJ, Hunter Reed, Shrugs IX, the Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Dark Echo, Corvain, Jake1776, 